and welcome to the Soundcraft video manual series. Today, we'll continue to expand on some dock concepts for using with the UI24R. Now that we're more familiar with patching audio back into the mixer, let's try to do it in a multi-tracking session. With multi-track playback, you can take audio recorded from the UI24 and send it back to the same channels on the mixer so that you can practice mixing without your band present. I'll be using Reaper today, but these concepts will translate to most DAWs available on the market. Let's get started. In this example, I've recorded a drummer with multiple microphones. Now I want to bring each one of these recorded channels back into the mixer on their respective channels so that I can practice mixing with the UI24. First, we need to head to the UI24 settings and select the patching tab. I'm going to be using the sound check feature to easily toggle between the sends coming from my DAW and the mixer's physical inputs with a single button. On the left side of the patching grid, select the sound check button. This should automatically select the USB A on the top side of the grid, showing us the default sound check patching of the USB stick channels. Select the USB DAW 1 through 16 on the top of the grid. I only need six channels for this example, but let's set it up like I want to utilize all of the mixer's channels. Simply select the patch one to one button in the bottom left side of the patching grid. This will automatically patch our USB DAW channels into every available mixer channel up to the line inputs. Go ahead and activate sound check by pressing the activate sound check button in the top right corner of the patching grid. A green SC will also show in the snapshot name window to indicate that sound check is on. Now let's go back to our DAW. In the DAW, we'll again be selecting the output channels, but this time for the individual tracks instead of our main output. In Reaper, this is done from the mixer view. Press this button to the side of the channel's fader to access the sends, receives, and hardware output options. Click the drop down for the audio hardware output and select the desired channels. Make sure to select the appropriate mono output if you're sending mono signals and not the stereo outputs listed first. I'm going to patch these one to one for the six channels that I need, just like the mixer. Remember that these channels here are equivalent to the blue USB DAW numbers from the UI patching screen. You can also access these output settings in Reaper by clicking one of the output headers above the channel strip. If you don't see some or all of the mixer's outputs, open Reaper's preferences by clicking Options, then selecting Preferences. Under the Audio and Device section, make sure that we see the complete range of all 32 USB channels under the Input and Output ranges. Click Apply and close the preferences when you're done. Now, press Play and you'll see all of our audio tracks returning back into the individual channels of the mixer. From here, I can start to add DSP like EQ and compression and practice my mix without all of the pre-gig stress. Don't forget that to get our mixer's physical mic line inputs back into our main mix, we need to disable sound check. You can do this from the patching section again or from the multi-track tab of the player section. That's all for multi-track playback. Thanks for watching. For more news, product information, and troubleshooting tips, visit us at soundcraft.com or our anytime help center at help.harmonpro.com.